Hello, my name is Chukwe Maki and I'm a PharmD candidate of the class 2022, and I'll be speaking to you about the drugs metroprolotartrate repressor and metroprolosesinate, triple OXL. Metroprolo is a selective beta-1 adroreceptor antagonist that comes in two forms, metroprolotartrate low suppressor in immediately acting, and metroprolosesinate, triple OXL in extended release long acting form. Studies have shown that tartrate and sustenate are both similar hemodynamically and clinically for both acute and chronic patients. Metoprolol is indicated for angina pectoris, hypertension, heart failure with reduced ejection fraction, and myocardial infarction for early treatment and secondary prevention. Metoprolol tartrate should be taken orally with or immediately following a meal while metoprolosesinate can be taken orally with or immediately following a meal or without food entirely, but it should not be crushed or chewed. Common side effects a patient can exhibit while taking metoprolol of either kind could be dizziness, fatigue, diarrhea, skin rash or skin itch, and possibly depression. The mechanism of action for metoprolol works through metoprolol being a beta adrenergic blocker with selective activity on beta 1 androreceptors. These receptors are mainly found in cardiac muscle, meaning when they are blocked, it causes a decrease in heart rate, cardiac output, and blood pressure. The selectivity behind metoprolol is that it will only affect beta-1 androreceptors and not beta-2 androreceptors. They will only, beta-2 androreceptors will only be affected by metropolol at high doses. These receptors are found on bronchial and vascular smooth muscle. Metropolol comes in many different doses in both tartrate and sustenate. This allows for ease of titration from initial dose to maximum tolerated dose for depending on indication. Patients suffering from angina are recommended metoprolotartrate at an initial dose of 50 milligrams twice daily, which can be titrated upwards to 200 milligrams twice daily for a maximum daily dose of 400 milligrams. While patients suffering from angina can also be recommended metoprolosusinate at 100 milligrams once daily for an initial dose, which can be titrated upwards to 400 milligrams once daily for a maximum dose. Patients who have suffered myocardial infarction or seek to prevent myocardial infarction are recommended metoprolotartrate between 25 and 50 milligrams every six to 12 hours, or metoprolosustinate at an initial dose of 25 to 50 milligram once daily and a max dose of 200 milligrams daily. For patients dealing with hypertension, metoprolotartrate is recommended at an initial dose of 50 milligrams twice daily, which can be increased to 200 milligram twice daily for a maximum daily dose of 400 milligrams. And metoprolosustinate is recommended at an initial dose of either, if anywhere between 25 to 100 milligrams once daily, which can be titrated upwards to a maximum daily dose of 400 milligrams. Patients suffering from heart failure with reduced ejection fractions can only be given metoprolosusinate, not metoprolotartrate, at an initial dose of 12 and a half to 25 milligrams once daily. They can be increased to a maximum dose of 200 milligram or the maximum tolerated dose while monitoring for signs and symptoms of heart failure. Serious side effects from metoprolol include atrioventricular block. Slowing of AV conduction can lead to AV block, leading to acute myocardial infarction or heart failure. Myocardia, beta blockers block cardio beta-1 receptors, leading to a decrease in heart rate, which may cause extreme bradycardia, including sinus arrest, and bronchospasms. Beta blocking agents can lead to airway, smooth muscle constriction, brought on by antagonism of beta-2 receptors at high doses. 
The triple does not require any renal dose adjustments, but it may require hepatic dose adjustments in the form of being initiated at lower doses and slowly titrated upwards due to extensive hepatic metabolism. Some warnings and precautions for those taking metropolo include, but are not limited to, the abrupt withdrawal of the drug, as doing so may exacerbate underlying conditions such as tachycardia, hypertension, and arrhythmia. Chronic beta blockers should not routinely be withdrawn from prior to surgery. And when converting metropolo tartrate and to metropolo succinate, they are a one-to-one -one ratio. But tar since tartrate is typically divided between two to three doses and succinate is administered daily, it is important to maintain dosage between the two. Monitoring parameters for metropolo's efficacy and angina pectoris include reduction in angina tax and improved exercise tolerance and heart failure decreased signs of symptoms and cardiac failure, and in hypertension, reduction in blood pressure. Monitoring signs for safety for metropolo are monitoring heart, uh, heart rate for signs of bradycardia.